Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. Um, today I thought I'd sort of like carry on the theme from the last video um, where I made these lovely little paper clip dresses um, and also they were tucks as well and I wanted to make something that sort of matched so I made these lovely little um, they're like little bags and they've got a little pouch there um, and I've got a little handle and they're also paper clips um, and I thought they were so pretty so you can make them any size you like again they're made from just a square piece of paper so any any size um, you can you can use depending on how big you want your little bag um, and I think they're just so so pretty and this one I made um, like an envelope I don't know whether you remember or you've seen the video um, in a similar style and because of the shape it reminded me of a little um, flower pot so I thought that would make a tiny little journaling card and it's a little paper clip as well and that just pops in there like that so I thought that was really pretty and you could make a little like a little fairy cake and all sorts of different different styles um, so I thought that was really cute um, this one I've actually popped a smaller one onto a bigger one so we've got a double pocket in there so you've got two little pockets and again it's a paper clip I've just decorated with one of my little butterflies and one of the little um, words and phrases that go in there so these go inside like that and they just clip on top here like that oopsie daisy and I think they look so pretty so they are easy peasy um, and if you wanted to give somebody like a little gift you can make them a little dress and then you've got a little bag like that and another little bigger paper clip so I thought that would make a really lovely little um, gift to send somebody um, if you wanted to send them something so I think they're really pretty and they look beautiful in a little shabby chic journal so I'm going to show you how I make these really really easy so let's pop those over there so we need a piece of paper so this is three inches by three inches I think Did I do it three by three no this one's four this one's four <coughs> excuse me four inches by four inches so all as we do we just fold it corner to corner like that so we've got a triangle and then we just fold that one so that's level at the top and then that one so that comes up so you want to sort of be even like that so then just fold that down this piece folds down like that and then what we want to do with this piece you can just pop it have you open the first piece up there's like a little little hole there where you folded it that can just slot inside just like that if you find it a little bit fiddly you don't have to do that you can just stick it on the top but that just folds it in there and makes it lovely and neat and tidy fold that one back so it's level so we've got the line and then you just tuck that one inside open it up and tuck that in not making it look easy am I there we go so how easy is that I'm sure some of you have made these before anyway um, and that's as easy as it can get so that's perfect so I'll show you again so corner to corner like that and put these out of the way so corner to corner and then you just put it across like that I don't fold it down until I've got them sort of like we want them even here so they're like level oopsie daisy like that squash these sides down pull this one down from there Oops. and then push that one back so you can either just stick that flap down like that um, or you can pop it in just tuck it in that little hole there just like that and it just slips in and then there's no gluing or anything so it's a nice little bit of origami open up the inside and just fold that in and then you've got your lovely little pouch like that I think that looks really nice so 
if you have it that way so that it just looks like a lovely little um, flower pot so I thought that was really nice and you could have lots of little flowers popping out the top as well so I'm going to just ink it just a tiny bit just around the edges just get in there easy peasy and then what we're going to do we're going to pop a safety uh, not safety pin, a paper clip on the back like that not a bowl pin oops we will get another piece of paper like this stick this onto there and just stick that onto the back like that you can even just stick it onto there if you wanted to but I'm going to just stick it on like that so I'm going to cover this piece in glue this is just some three in one glue not three in one it's a neatest tacky glue I'm so used to using three in one I think it's just a habit to say it so let's just stick this down onto there stick it on and then we can just cut round it makes it a lot easier than trying to cut the same shape and sticking it on just cut round like that and there you go perfect let's just ink up the edges not that you really see the back of it anyway and then we can just decorate the front of it so let's see I've got a few little bits and pieces here so again you can use all your um, little off cuts um, so what should we have on here that's quite pretty doesn't it put that on wouldn't we let's stick a bit of this on so you just need tiny little things to decorate but I think these would look nice um, if you've got a pocket in your journal you could stick clip this onto the actual pocket if you didn't want it sticking out the top of your journal which I think would look quite nice but I saw all the lovely dresses that you made on the Facebook page I think they're absolutely gorgeous You've done amazing there are lots of different sort of ways to fold the paper anyway so I'm sure you've um, seen them made before but I just thought they were really lovely to cover up that piece of elastic I think I think they're really lovely um, decorated the little dresses nice and pretty and they're lovely to put on a little gift bag as well looks quite nice doesn't it off now what can we put down there I did have some here we go it's a little bit I don't know what I've done with it all now my cheesecloth I'm not ready with my cheesecloth here we go let's have a little bit of cheesecloth just they all match in don't really need that much, just need it. There we go. A little bit on here. Just like that. Squatch that on. And this one, I think I might pop the little butterfly. I just adore these little butterflies. Let's pop a little bit of glue on there. Look at that big blob on there. I need to get my new glue out. Stick that down. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then you've still got it, oops, 
open up like that so you've got a lovely little pocket now you can leave it like that and that actually looks like a little flower pot doesn't it or you can pop um, a little handle on it which obviously you don't have to but I'm going to just stick a little bit on like that so you've got a little handle um, which I should have done what I normally do is stick it underneath here so you can't really see it on the back so what I shall do is wipe this off because it's just oozing out everywhere pop this there a little bit there don't need a very long handle really cut that off and that's how easy peasy it is look at that lovely little um, handbag sort of a little handbag isn't it which would go so I thought they were really nice so let's make a smaller one about the same size let's make a diddy one look this one is let me measure that this one is two inches. This is a two inch square. So this would make a smaller one and this would go um, on top of a paper clip. I think like these ones here. So again, just fold each side in like that. Squash it down. Fold the top bit over that bit back oops that can just pop in there like so and then that little bit pops inside just tucks in and we've got our little our little basket or not a little basket a little handbag like that. Just ink the edges a little bit. And what I think I'll do is I'll pop it on the big paper clip first. So that would just stick on the top there like that. So what I'm going to do is find a piece of paper. So I'm going to glue this on here. I will use three in one this time. Stick that down. Just stick that on the top like that. And I'm going to just stick the piece of paper on top of that. Just like that. because these are they're very light because it's just a little bit of thin paper um, the three in one is quite enough to hold it I'm going to go down this way sits on top of the little paper clip again you can pop a little anything you like in there tiny little note or something I thought these would go really really would go well with the little dresses pop that on there and now we need to just decorate the front of this one or oh, we could put a bit a little bit of this on there couldn't I like that what else do we have of a little bit of this on the top maybe yes this is oozy glue yuck stick that on there I 
think they make great little sets. Um, look at that, it looks really pretty. I think I might even have that too big. Mm, a little bit too big, I think. Maybe I'll have one of these little. Make it similar to the other one. Just love these little flowers. Pop that oozy glue on there. Now oh, let me just wipe it off. Making a big mess here today. Let me go stick this on. Pop a little bit of cheesecloth and then a little bit of glue on here. That one I added the little bits of um, stickles on there, just around the outside. This one, you can't really see much of the paper under there, but I think they look really pretty. Now, when I made the handles on these ones, I've just folded a piece of the paper in half and glued it together. Um, and there's one here somewhere. What did I do with that other one? Did have one which has got oh, I've lost it I've got a little bit of this over the top maybe I'll use this on this one then pop a little bit of glue either side gloopy glue don't use any gloopy glue like I'm doing it's just going to make a big mess pop that there it just comes around like that no, nope, wrong way round. That way. That's it. And then you've got a tiny little handle. Perfect. I think I've just glued, oh, nearly glued it all together then. And I think they do it so easy and so quick. Really, really are quick to make. So there we go, guys. I think they're lovely. So I'll just show you quickly how to make the handle. So if you take just a little piece of paper like that, what I did, I just folded them in half like that. And then I folded that half into the middle. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it because it makes the handle quite strong. So you just fold them into the middle like that. And then fold it in half and then you just glue that together do it a little bit neater than me glue those bits together use a little bit of this Oops, big fly coming Summertime, the flies are out, unfortunately. There we go. And that's it. And then that's what you'd make your little handle out of. So you can just pop that onto your onto your little um, bag. And there we go, guys. Quick and easy peasy. And I think they just look so lovely. And they, act, they I love it when they match all in with the dresses. So that would make such a pretty little... Um, set on a birthday card in the scrapbook um, popped onto a little gift bag I think they're really really cute very very easy all right guys well I hope you enjoy that and I love this one which has got two little pockets that's just easy peasy too um, I hope you give it a go and please do post them on my Facebook page um, happiness and crafting group um, and these ones with the little flower pot as well really cute all right guys thank you so much for joining me um i hope you're all safe and well um and i will see you next time take care bye bye